All right, so this week's project with Scarlet, uh, we made an Asteroids clone. Uh, what I thought was very interesting about this is the fact that I'm actually working on this in Unity. Um, if you go back in my coding projects um, uh, playlist, you'll see that I've actually been working on exactly this game, but Scarlet got to make it before me in Scratch. And I'm, I'm actually pretty... Um, impressed with how accurate I was able to make it. Now, uh, one thing I couldn't figure out how to do in Scratch uh, was to do the uh, thing where you go from one side and pop out the other side, uh, which which I'm doing in my game, which is more accurate to the original. Um, I probably, if I spent a little more time thinking about it, could figure out how to add inertia in here. Uh, which the original game has and which I'm trying to I'm planning to have in mind as well uh, Which does make things very challenging, but it's already pretty darn challenging as is um, So uh, Let's see here don't need to take a break now. I'm gonna turn this off. All right, so here's the code for the rocket ship I'm gonna zoom out one little smidge here and one thing that, uh, again, I know how to do in Unity that I don't know how to do in Scratch is for the system to communicate that all the clones are gone, which is how the rocks are made. Um, in Unity, I'd know how to say, hey, find all your members, but I don't know how to do it here. So what we did instead is we kind of cheated. and We know that once you're done breaking everything up, there's um, 93 um, rocks. And so if you get a score of 93, because Scarlet said you should get one point per rock, then you've won, so we did that. Our laser, here's the code for that. Um, and so, yeah, this all this clone stuff was brand new to me. I never knew about that in um, in Scratch. In Unity, uh, uh, we use a combination of um, of a uh, generator and, and a couple other techniques to do this. And finally, the rocks, which again is based on clones, and that's how we're um, getting the rocks to appear all right so i'm going to increase this um scarlet picked her own music as usual um the scratch uh, or the raspberry pi foundation usually does not rec uh sometimes they don't even uh tell you to have a song but i think uh, no video game is complete without music <laughs> and uh so i usually have the kids pick a loop out of what's built in uh, it's going to be relatively l loud relative to my voice, so I'm just going to turn off the mic so we don't get any echoes. And then um, Scarlet can play, so you won't hear her laughing or reacting, or you won't hear me reacting or anything like that. Uh, but uh, afterwards, uh, if there's anything we want to say, we'll go ahead and say that. So I'll turn it over to Scarlet to play, and here we go. All right, so that was a lose condition. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get a win condition. Uh, I'm not gonna do it more than once because it takes a little while and it's probably not all that much fun to watch. So here we go.
Alright, and there we go. That was the win condition. And so, yeah, this was a lot of fun uh, making this game with Scarlet. It's kind of uh, spurred me on, encouraged me to work on mine and see if I can uh, get mine going again. Alright, thanks for watching.